Well, hey, thanks for popping in here, guys, to watch this video. This is the video that everybody's been asking me for, and I know why. You want to know, how do we do, right? This is our first year of doing, uh, well, before we get that far, let me, let me just explain. This is completely unscripted. I have some quick notes here. Not gonna, not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be myself and I'm gonna be real with you so that you know how we did. All right, so you guys, uh, if you've been following our channel at all, you know it's Getting Lucky with Mr. G, and we've been doing this for one year. We actually started February of 2022. Um, all these numbers that I give you, and I'm going to give you numbers, all these numbers do not include anything after December 31st. So it is not a full, full year. It is going to be 11 months and a day or two. Uh, but, uh, long story short, we opened, we, we decided to do this. My wife, Michelle, she's an accountant. If you know anything about me, you know, I own, or my wife and I own a company called gearing up. We're a printing company. Um, and during tax season, that's actually my slower time. And so my wife said, Hey, you need to find something you like to do. And I was following Brian Christopher, uh, NG slots, Ruby, travel, Ruby, travel, Ruby. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys, if, if you, if you haven't checked out travel, Ruby, not like we're friends, I've met her once, but I would suggest check out travel, Ruby. If you're going to Vegas, she's got, uh, you know, she's got everything. So I, I would definitely, I definitely follow her. Now I don't know if I'd follow her for slot play. I'm not, I'm not sure if I believe all their slot play because the first month they said they made a ton of money and, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that part later. But uh, let me tell you some numbers so that this all makes sense. Um, I was able to get my win-loss statements from MGM, Caesars, and then our local casinos, Jack uh, and Jack Thistledown. So I can tell you those numbers. I can also tell you an estimate of the other places because, you know, we play all over. Like last night... We were down in Columbus playing at Hollywood, okay? Um, now, my numbers have some things that we have to go over so that they make sense for you, okay? But I'm going to start with MGM because MGM is where I kind of got started. Um, there's a, a local MGM. It was the Hard Rock, and then MGM bought them out. Uh, so it's called Northfield MGM, which is local. Uh, we don't play there on the channel because... They don't let us film there. Um, we, we've tried. We've done all kinds of stuff. We just can't get them to let us film. Um, and also, I apologize. I know you probably see a little cardboard box in the back. You see all the pictures behind me. This is my office. Um, it's a little messy right now, so I, you know, we'll zoom in a little. But uh, the pictures behind me, you see my wife, Michelle, and myself, our friends here, uh, where we were at uh, in Vegas. It's, these are all Vegas memories. Uh, I kind of surround myself with those because they're the greatest, I, I think, anyways. So let's go over this. MGM. So uh, Northfield MGM Park last year, we were down $423. Now, understand, um, we didn't film there. This was us playing with our friends and, and that kind of thing, right? Like, hey, let's go to Northfield, you know. Um, MGM all together, which is like the Bellagio, the Mirage, New York, New York, Park MGM, um, you know, any any Vegas MGM uh, resort or National Harbor in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, we were down $979. Um, I don't think that's that bad, right? We were down $1,000 total playing at all their properties. Um, our biggest loss was at the Mirage for $500. Um, we... <laughs> The Mirage, it's an interesting story. They have a lot of games where there's two benches, so Michelle and I can sit down next to each other and play. So uh, we kind of had a lot of fun with that, and it didn't matter if we were winning or losing because we were having fun playing together. Um, you know, so th th that was our biggest loss was the Mirage, $500, um, you know, out, out of the MGM properties. Let me make sure I'm clear with that. Um so then we've got Caesar properties because obviously Caesars is another huge, huge, you know, Vegas icon, right? So that's going to be your Flamingo, Harris, Paris, uh, Plant, uh, Plant Hollywood, the Rio, which I didn't even realize was part of their thing. Uh, the Cromwell, Lynx, uh, you know, there's a lot of properties there. So out of all those properties, we we're down $196. Now realize we went to Vegas three times this year. So 
Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know, we were down $196 in the Caesar properties. We were down $979 and some change at the MGM properties. So when you, excuse me, you'll see I'll move around. I'm sorry, guys. Um, when you add that up, I mean, we're down $1,200. We went to Vegas three times, right? Now, here's the really cool part is I don't have South Point, um, Silverton, Sam's Town, or any of the downtown Vegas casinos that all have their own cards and so forth, right? We estimate, and it's just an estimate, that we're up about $2,500. Now, when I say we, when we go to Vegas, Michelle and I, we play separate, we play together. We So it's not truly the channel all the time, um, but I know... We we did we, we had a lot of fun and we know it's Silverton Michelle hit for eight hundred or nine hundred, um you know I know downtown I hit a couple big ones not big not big, good ones right if you follow slot channels, we don't have a hand pick, in eleven months of playing slots we do not have a hand pick we have close we've gotten to eleven hundred and some change but never a hand pick now at the flamingo. This is interesting. The Flamingo, I hit for 900 and they had to come pay me out on the spot. Did not issue me a 1099, but they paid me on the spot um, because the amount of money I had in the machine was greater than the machine could calculate or some crazy thing. So that was interesting. So right now, estimated Vegas and, and Northfield Park MGM, we're up about $1,200 uh, playing slots. And uh, I'll go over some of the other cool perks of being a slot channel. But this is where it gets hairy, right? So Club Jack. Now, Club Jack is our local Cleveland casino. Um, we really didn't start playing downtown till the second half of the year. Uh, we're down $173 and some change, 92 cents. So um, the reality is we played there, but not for the first half of the year. The first half of the year... We really were at Thistledown, right? Um, so at Thistledown Casino, this is the, the killer of killers. We're down $13,387.98. I was blown away. I didn't feel like I lost $13,387, but I did. It's The numbers don't lie. They are what they are, Right? So between Club Jack and Thistledown, we're down thirteen thousand five hundred bucks. We'll say right. So we add in the uh, twenty five hundred from, uh, or I'm sorry, the twelve fifty or so that we think we're up at, at Vegas. We're down about eleven thousand. Uh, we'll, we'll call it twelve thousand dollars. Just rounding numbers. So if you were going to open a uh, start your own slot channel, and listen, I see it right. Uh, again, I've talked to other slot channels and, Hey, there's always room for everybody. You know, we're great. We love you. And, and I, I've made some great friends doing this and I, a few of them, they gamble just a little crazier than I do. Right. Uh, obviously when you look at like NG or, or some of those guys, uh, they're burning money. But what I want you to notice is that a lot of the slot channels, and I, I won't name names cause I don't personally know what everybody else is doing. But I can guess, based on my numbers, if, if, if I'm down $12,000, uh, you know, for the year playing slots, uh, and remember, this doesn't count blackjack, this doesn't count anything else, this is slots. Um, and this year we started video poker, so that could change things a little bit, but we didn't do video poker last year. If I'm down $12,000, I'm looking at other video channels, and I start asking myself, well, how are they doing it, right? Because this is the reality. If you averaged out all the slot machines that we played, the average payout is probably about 90%. So that means that if you gambled $100 and you did over the course of time, you would expect to get $90 back of your money. Now, it doesn't mean you might not get lucky, hit a big jackpot, and never go back to the casinos, and you're one of the ones that's up, right? But if you constantly go to the casino and you're constantly putting money in, you should expect 90% back. Well, it makes sense. At Jack Casino, we got to K level. To get to K level, you have to push a little over $100,000 through the machines. Um, they gave you a K level if you uh, hit, uh, it was uh, 300,000 points. Okay, when you do all the math, 
it means you need to spend $100,000 down there. So when you take $100,000 and you figure that we lost $12,000, that's just over 10%, right? Which is your 90, uh, 87 point to whatever, right? So mathematically, it it makes sense. Now, the part that, that, you know, being down 12 grand, yeah, um, that hurts. Let me tell you, especially because if you know me, you know Michelle's an accountant. Um, and I, I talk about her all the time. So when you're an accountant, 12 grand, that's a lot of money. Now, I, I call it entertainment, and it's $1,000 a month. I mean, you can break it down. You can justify it any way you want. But here's the thing is that we got some comps, right? We got some free play. And that number, what I kind of discovered, and, and you have to think about this for a minute, is um, we had over $3,000 in free play. Now, free play is never free because you never go down and just play your $20 or $15. You always put more money in. But here's the thing. In that loss number is free play because let's say you sat down at a machine, you put $20 of free play in, and you won $25. Well, then you kept playing and you lost that $20. Well, now that's a loss because that free play, you could have cashed out. So in, in my number of $12,000 that we're down, some of that's free play. Now, not enough to make it make sense, but I'm just trying to let you know that you do have to count that, right? Um, but by my calculations, we got over $3,000 of free play. And now these numbers are going to be around at this point because I didn't keep great enough numbers or records to, to verify every number dead on. But I know the numbers because I did keep a log and I kind of, you know, wrote stuff down to, to keep track. So we also got about $1,000 in food, okay? Um, we were getting free buffets downtown. I know the price uh, at Jack, Cleveland Jack. Uh, I know the prices are inflated, right? Nobody's paying $28 for that buffet. I get it. But we did. We got a lot of free buffets. And when I say we, I mean me, Michelle, and then my group pool people. Uh, they got free buffets also, right? So we got free buffets. Uh, one a week or one every two weeks, depending on how much they were gambling and we were gambling. Um, then we got a lot of restaurant vouchers. So Thistledown was throwing in vouchers, $15 food vouchers every two weeks, uh, you know, to go get a hamburger and a drink and whatever. So we did get a lot of restaurant vouchers. And then at the end of the year, because we hit that case status, we got a $200 voucher for food. So I estimate that we got about $1,000 in food, in, in free food. Uh, now, we also got free food from the Luxor uh, and also the Strat uh, in Las Vegas. So the Luxor, I think, gave us, Michelle and I, a $150 food voucher. And the Strat gave us, I think, they screwed up our room. So they gave us additional, and I think we got a hundred dollars at the Strat. Um, so there's another, you know, two fifty in in food. Um, and guys, I'm not going to cut this. I'm just going to roll with it. And I'm going to I'm I'm just going to give you the numbers, and then it is what it is, right? Uh, and then if you get questions, feel free to comment down below. Uh, you know, let me. You know, hey, you're you're a loser. Can't believe you lost that much money. Uh, trust me. Anybody that goes to the casino can expect a 90% return if they go all the time. So it is what it is. You might think you're killing it. You might think you're winning. Go back. Add it up. All right? So here's the thing. We also got hotel stays. So in Vegas, we got free hotel stays at Planet Hollywood, which was awesome. I'd recommend staying there. It's in the heart of everything. That's fantastic. Uh, we got free stays at the Luxor. I know the Luxor gets a bad rap. I get it. I like the Luxor. I think it's kind of a cool casino. We've got a little nostalgic because Michelle and I have stayed there four or five other times. Um, so we liked it. Uh, we got free hotel stay at the Strat. Um, and that was kind of cool. We get, actually got two rooms, which we took our entire family, uh, did a little Vegas thing. Uh, and we got a free hotel, uh, a couple nights at the Strat. And that worked out really well. And then we also uh, are part of the Wyndham Timeshare family. So that's a whole nother story. But in Vegas, they have two timeshares there. We can stay anytime we want. We have enough points that we could go to Vegas and stay for three months if that's what we chose to do. So that was how we kind of 
did our times are, are staying in Vegas. Now we went to Vegas, like I said, three times this year and we don't go for a weekend. We go to Vegas, we go minimum five days and one of the times we were there are 10. So we go, we stay, we, we play, right? Um, and we always rent a car when we go to Vegas. So there are expenses. I mean, there, there are a lot of expenses that get added into all this that you don't think about. Driving to the casinos, car rentals, you know, food, all, all the craziness, right? But the reality is, um, for me, I like it. I like it. And it's, it's you know, and, and again, I didn't even get a hand pay this year, which is horrible. Um, I've had a hand pay every year except for last year. Uh, you know, and Michelle says, well, the casinos are making record money. You know, maybe they're just tightening everything up. Maybe they are. I don't know. But the big question that everybody has, people walk up to me in the casino almost every time I'm there. Someone comes up and says, hey, I was thinking about starting a slot channel. I was thinking about doing this. Okay, guys, the reality is I've made zero dollars from YouTube. Zero. Not a penny. Right? Um, YouTube, because I don't have a thousand subscribers, which again, I'm not out there pushing it. I'm not, you know, going out on TikTok. I do have a TikTok. I do have, um, you know, Facebook, but go look my post. I went back. I haven't posted anything on Facebook since, uh, August or something like stupid. I'm not out there pimping my channel. I need to. And this year, that's one of my goals is to start pushing it a little bit, right? Because there's guys that have been doing this for five, six years. They are making money. But the reality is, is that even when we win, we put it right back in trying to make another video, another win, another, you know, another whatever it is. So um, people that walk up to me and say, hey, I want to start a slot channel. I'm thinking about starting a slot channel. There's a few of you out there that subscribe to my channel and you know who you are, right? Anyways, the point being is, would I recommend it? Not if you think you're doing it to make money. You're not going to make money. You're not going to make money. The, the people are making money. Brian Christopher, uh, Slot, uh, Slot, uh, Slot Queen. Uh, and I don't know if even Slot Queen's making money. I, she doesn't post anything to tell anybody. Uh, uh, HQ, uh, uh, you know, there, 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 there are some channels that are making money. No doubt about it, right? And they're making money because they've gotten so many subscribers. And then they get little personalized deals on the side. They get different things. They're making money. They've been doing this for three, four, five years. Okay. They were doing it during the pandemic when, you know, everybody was at home, locked down and had nothing to do, but, you know, float on your phone and, and look at stuff. So would I recommend to people to do it? No. Should they do it? If it's in your heart, follow your heart, go do it. You know, have fun with it. We're doing it again this year. We're going to keep going. We're going to focus more on lives because I love the interaction with people. I love talking with people. Again, no money to be made doing lives, but we're not making money anyway. So, so what, right? I'm going to at least have fun and enjoy it. Um, there's a lot of research that goes into this stuff. I, I suggest that you do it. If you want to start your own channel, definitely do the research. Know what machines are better than, like there's some machines like the claw game. <laughs> you play the claw game. You might as well just hand your money. You, you might as well just set your money on the counter and leave. You know, I've seen nobody win, nobody. So uh, long story short, do your research, check it out, uh, subscribe to our channel. That always helps. Uh, and uh, hopefully just have fun. Enjoy yourself. If you're not having fun, it's not worth doing. Don't do it. But uh, I hope you guys find these numbers uh, helpful. They're realistic. They're honest. Um you know, there's no no fluff or BS in those numbers. Um, they are what they are. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. Like I said, please leave me comments down below. More than happy to try to answer your questions. If you got questions, um, if, if there's something you want to talk about, I'm always willing to, to talk to people and tell them about my experiences and, and how they go. We're definitely going to be going back to Vegas a couple times this year. Um, again, it's it, yes, I'm going not because of the channel, but because I love Vegas. Uh, I always have great memories from Vegas. Every time we go, we make new memories. So, and you guys hear I'm rambling a little bit. Sorry. I just, uh, when I start talking Vegas, I can go forever. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great night or day if you're watching this during the day. And leave comments down below. Let me know what you need to know. And uh, I'll try to help you out and give you answers. All right. Have a great one, guys.